In my short amount of time with the HP Omen 15, I've had a pretty good experience with the device, but there are a few things you need to know about and a few things I want to clear up. Uh, first, we have the lid flex issue, which I know a lot of creators or just a number of creators have talked about. I've gotten questions about this on stream, and it's something I kind of want to clarify on. So this laptop has a plastic lid, and that's immediately evident. And, you know, as most of us know, plastics are much softer and uh, more flexible than a metal otherwise would be. And um, one thing I should say is that I've owned the Legion Y740. Uh, that's a Lenovo laptop that had a metal lid, and it's very similar in structure to this lid. Um, just about the same thickness, same overall kind of design to it, and I believe it has pretty much the same drawbacks as this plastic lid due to the thin metals used. So, let's go down the laundry list of complaints we currently have. Uh, a lot of people are saying that the lid flex is pretty bad and as you can see here that's a fair amount of lid flex so to quantify how much lid flex this device has we're going to measure how much you can lift this corner up without this corner lifting and i'll be doing my best to show that as well as i can i'm going to be following lqcg standards uh, the lqcg is a group that currently consists of nopi.com and jared's tech where we're defining general quality standards for laptops of all kinds so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in go ahead over to lqcg.org and give a look at our standards and just what the point of the group is I'll probably be making a dedicated video to the LQCG at some point, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. And let me know in the comments if you like what the LQCG is about, if you go and check out that website. But for now, let's just check out how much lid flex this device has. Here's just the bare corner. And what I'm going to do, I have my caliper here. You can see this is a quality caliper. And I'm going to set this to 10 millimeters, which is the LQCG maximum accepted lid flex. You can see we have this set to just a little over 10 millimeters. I mean, this is about as exact as we expect you to be anyway. So what I'm going to do now so I'm going to take this and you can see this part is about 10 millimeters high now that's how this caliper works and I'm going to place that here sorry my lights in the way and place that under this corner and put it flush against the bottom and see if the corner can close and you can see here um, the corner is closed it doesn't move when I touch it yeah we can probably just put this in here and start gently moving it until it Okay, I've got a measurement. Yeah, so you can see the max I was able to get while doing that was about 10 millimeters anyway. So honestly, I would have to say that the lid just falls in like marginal, I guess would be what I'd call it. We don't have a strict evaluation system set up yet, but the lid flex is about 10 millimeters from here to here, uh, which I mean, you can calculate the angle out if you measure this and you know, that definition might change. But <clears throat> as you can see, I mean, the lid flex wasn't significant enough to be really too big of a problem because you can see I'll just lift it and that's about as far as it'll go. And some of this is magnet assisted anyway, so not a huge deal. Uh, we also have the concerns that the lid along the sides is flexing too much and we'll be covering that too now. You can see we have this portion of the chassis and this portion of the chassis is, uh, there's a gap here. And this gap is because the palm rest, as you can see, dips down. What most manufacturers do is they lift this lip up and have it sit against the screen and that prevents things like, you know, this from happening. I mean, that's part of the reason, but largely it's just because a lot of manufacturers just don't do what HP does. Uh, and one thing that's interesting is this lid has a bar that goes from like over here where it's secured, it runs along the side, and then it secures up here. And that helps with lid stability when you're lifting a lid. And as you can see, the lid doesn't actually like flex from like here to here. There's no bowing really in the lid um, in general 
for a plastic lid it's very rigid so I mean really right here is just the weak point but you have to put a like considerable amount of force on this thing to get it to really move I mean this is just some like firm presses I have to like push really like hard to <laughs> make it do anything I mean it's at the point where it's kind of hurting my finger to do that almost so yeah, there's obviously a gap here, but the flex you're seeing here is not terribly concerning and realistically is not really hurting the lid very much because if you take a look at how much the lid is actually flexing when you do that, it's not really moving a whole lot outside of this section. So yeah, there's that. <coughs> and also there's the concern that when you push it right here on the center, there's a concern that when you do that, and you push the whole lid flexes now I'm here to say that pretty much every laptop flexes when you push it there especially 15 inch ones and that's the same for my Y740 and pretty much every other 15 inch laptop I've touched when you push here the whole lid will flex and that's just a universal 15 inch laptop thing the only laptops that doesn't really happen on is ones with like very thick metal lids that are thick enough to push hard enough back against your finger where it's not really reasonable to do that however if you've ever owned a laptop and opened the screen and seen like the keyboard have like you know grease marks on the screen or even scratch the screen that's because your lid was flexing down when it was in a bag or on the floor and got something set on top of it or whatever and it was flexing enough to push against the keyboard <coughs> So, yeah, ultimately a lot of laptops have this issue, and if you've owned a number of laptops, you're bound to have experienced a thing where, you know, the screen has some gunk on it after you close the laptop and leave it somewhere, and then you pick it up and someone's like, I don't know, put a book on top of it for like a second. That's just kind of how it is. Now, the last point where there's lid flex is back here, and naturally there would be lid flex back here. Um, with the configuration that the system is in, where the polymerase drops down and then never comes back up. I mean, that's just kind of expected. So, I mean, as you can see, I'll push here and the lid moves. And you can see that it dips right next to these hinge points here. Let me push over here too, and you can see it dips. And it's somewhat of a considerable dip. And this is the only real flex that I would say is potentially problematic. I wouldn't say that it's something to worry about and not buy the laptop for because there's no evidence that this would cause issues. Realistically, there should be some slack in the EDP cables that go to the main board through the hinge up into the LCD and connect to LCD. There should be some slack in that. If there's not, we'll see it soon. There'll be failed units with like weird display problems, but I don't have any evidence to suggest that that's the case, and as far as I know, when I was doing my teardowns of the unit, there was a fair amount of slack in the cable, so I wouldn't consider that to be a concern. If you're here from another channel, you should know that I'm going to be uploading another video in about a day that talks about more problems that this device has. If it's uploaded, you'll see a card up top, and you can just click a link to that, and you can learn about more issues I've run into this device over my 15 days with it. Um, but if that's not there, I recommend you get subscribed because I will be uploading that soon. Uh, if you want to help extend that test period, which is about only as long as the return period for this device, which due to Best Buy policy is about 15 days, then support me on Patreon if you can. Check out my Amazon affiliate links. I mean, you can do whatever you like. I just appreciate the support and it does go a long way towards helping the channel. And speaking of support, we have two patrons. We have Aditya, I believe that's how you say that, A-A-D-I-T-Y-A giving seven dollars and fifty cents a month thank you and we have benny and the jets giving one dollar a month and they've been a patron since june so thank you benny and the jets for your support i really appreciate it goes a long way well both of you uh to supporting the channel so thank you so much again link to the patreons in the description uh i also have a discord down there you can join or just get subscribed because subscribing and viewing my videos is enough support for me it keeps me motivated. It helps my videos get seen by other people, which in turn helps me. We also passed 2K subscribers, so thanks everyone for helping with that. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm.